<laughs> Rock and I came here when we were looking for you, Eleven. We couldn't believe how lively it was. To get to the castle, you have to climb the central staircase and go round. The office is very big, so be careful not to get lost. <laughs> Let's have a little look around town before we head to the palace, Eleven. There are us to speak to people, and who knows, we might even find out more about this branch. You good? Horse racing sounds kind of cool, but I got a branch of the world tree to find. Let's go talk to the Sultan. Alright, so we actually did do all that. We went and did pretty much everything around here that we can do. I actually want to see if we can do any horse races early. I don't think so. I never actually really did much with the horse races. I know you get stuff for them. But I always kind of skipped out or skimped out on the on the mini games. Simply because I just never found them all that interesting. Or I don't really care for them personally, but you know. Maybe we can do something with them. And give me a little bit of practice. No. Huh, I didn't even know that. Welcome, friend, to the world-renowned racetrack of Galopolis. Oh, okay, so you can go ahead and do it. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Get some, uh, practice in. Champions Challenge 108. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. I can't remember what it is. I think you have to hold RT, see your speeding, X to tug on the reins for a nice tight turn. Okay. It's X. Cool. Bronze cup. Let's do this. We got this, y'all. Ready for me to fail horribly? Basically, you have to keep your stamina up. To do that, you have to hit these things. You can hit the pumpkins. X to drift. You know how this works. You know how we do. It's not too difficult, but... Anything to get yourself a boost of speed is good. Anything to, you know, avoid having to, you know, hit everything is nice as well. You know, it's what we do. And they have these spaced out perfectly for you, I think, to just not really lose any stamina. So it's nice. The drifting makes this so much nicer, too. And we are off. Battle music playing. Look at all those pumpkins and things that I've hit. I'm about to lap the last person. Dang, dude. Kind of trash. Let's go. Oh, 109. Oh, I didn't get the fastest time. Dang. I kind of want to do that again and get the champion's title. New record? Can we do that a second time, you think? It's only 100 coins. I don't know if you get anything back from it. Slime your wing earrings. Chunk of copper ore. Okay. Can we go again? I kind of want to do it again. I want that champion's challenge. I think you need things to make your horse go faster, though. We'll see, though. Let's see what the bronze cup has for us. We got this. I believe. I believe in my, my steed. My good old horse from Cobblestone. We got this. So is this the same one, just a shade more difficult? Get out of my way, you fool. I will destroy you. I guess you can go faster by like cutting some of these turns and not having to do as much, but I don't know. I also don't know if hitting A on that does anything uh, better. probably ways you can whittle down your time a little bit. 
but I don't know him because, like I said, I don't really practice this minigame a whole ton. I'm actually surprised I'm doing as decently as I am. Oh, 22 again. Okay, so I did something that time a bit different, but I don't know what it was. I don't know how I got 22 on that, actually. Someone's going to come up last second and just ruin me. I can feel it. 23 again. All right. 108.95. I actually did better that time. I wonder if, yeah, if pressing A at the very end does something. Hmm. Well, we can try it again and see if we can beat the time. That'd be fun. Gold bracer. Two chunks of copper ore. Nice. Is there more you can give me? Nope. Alright, so... Let's try this a second time and see if we can... Get a better time on that. I actually really do want to see. So I may be quiet for this. See if I can just have a little bit more focus. Alright. And we begin. We got... Ah, oh, we didn't... We almost got sub 108. Dang. If I can get everything on 22, I think that'd be fine. But I did get better time than before, so there is that. If I can find a way to cut down my drifting, then... Alright. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Alright, cool. So we did that. So now we can actually head out and, uh... Well... Kinda wanna go ahead and take care of these side quests now. But we can do that when we get back. Because we're gonna have to go out into the world again anyway to uh, help with some of the... other things that we're gonna have to be put to deal with, so... It works out. There are items, like, around here somewhere. Yep. One there, and there's one on the opposing side of this section. Hello, sir. My crossbow is my best friend. It is my life, and yet my crossbow alone is not enough. It is nothing without the crossbow kid. Okay. Alright, that's some gold coins. Nice. How many have we got? Okay. We must have stored quite a bit more than I thought we had. I think we almost stored 3,000, 4,000 ish. Cats. There are cats everywhere. Look at them. They're such beautiful creatures. All right. So now we go into the Sultan's room, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Royal Bedchamber. This is where the Sultan does his sultanly things and apparently not leave anything in his pots. What are these concrete earrings? Have you heard the rumors? I say that a wicked man called the Dark Spawns escaped from Heliodor and is terrorizing all Erdria. What a frightening world this is. I need not fear. The Nazi Galopolis will keep us safe. I'm sure of it. Yep. Does she react? So that's the Sultan's private... Oh, okay. Here's... There's what hap... There's what appears to be a diary here. It has Prince Ferris's progress written on the cover. Day 21. My beloved prince attended his horse riding lessons once more today. See him training in day in and day out to be the greatest leader he can be for the noble knights of Galopolis fills me with the hope for the... Fills me with hope for the magnificent future he will no doubt usher in for all of our realm. Day 24. My beloved prince left the palace today and went out into the streets to speak with the common people. He seeks to study the lifestyles of his subjects firsthand. What a wise and benevolent young man he is. I have no doubt he will make a great sultan someday. Alright. Well, good to know. Prince pa Fence Paris. No. Prince Ferris seems to be like a very fine and upstanding chap. There's a book called The Power of Positivity, A Ruler's Handbook. We, all, we have all heard what they say. Should one wish to be a great leader, one must be positive at all times. And it is true. 
Who would want to follow a mopey, indecisive man anywhere? Nobody, that is who. So forget all those negative thoughts and think positive. I fly on your back, gaze up at the big blue sky and feel your troubles melt away like the petty, insignificant irritations they are. Say goodbye to the old you, the negative you. There's a bright and positive future waiting for you, so step right up and take it. That's actually pretty decent. Gym book here, the binding is almost completely worn through. Ye... Drustenide? Secrets of ye flame. The faded threadbare cover, he tries to read a page or two, but something tells me he's not quite ready yet. Dang. My intelligence hasn't reached that sort of level yet. A feather cap. Nice. Iron broadsword. See, we made one already, too. That's better than that, so... But a lot of the items, you don't really have to purchase anything ever in the game. I mean, you can always grind and try and find the items. Of course, they add the ability to purchase uh, items from the forge just for your crafting, so... Now, you can go through the game without going through a single store, and it's great. Puritans, this is no ordinary sand national. This race marks the day that Faris, my son and heir, comes of age, and as such... No, no, no! An event of such significance must have eloquence to match. Such functional pleasantries will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. word is his bond his kingdom his master he serves the weak untiringly challenges the strong un unflinchingly ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity mm, yes very good the knight's pledge must always be your guide my son <laughs> You are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. Yeah, turn was a bit excessive. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. This is awkward. What is your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. I shall await you there. All right. Well, there's that. <clears throat> we meet uh, Prince Ferris down in his room. Sorry if we uh, took the liberties of uh, going through your belongings already, but we have uh, business to attend to. So what can we do for you, sir? Ah, you came. Thank you. Hmm. Yes, your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. Uh, I don't like the way you're describing me, sir. This is awkward. I don't appreciate it. <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. 
My father isn't likely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> Palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah. ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? No. Oi, what are you saying? We need that branch. Shut up, Veronica. I have a plan. Of course we'll come to the circus with you, Your Highness. We love the circus, Your Highness. I'm sure it will be wonderful. I've never actually said no in that dialogue option before. Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. Do not be late, please. I don't get any sort of retribution from Veronica afterwards. That'd be funny. All right, so basically now all we can do is go to an inn, wait until nighttime, and then we meet Prince Ferris over by, well, the tent, so not a whole lot now going on. So we can make our way over. Oh, okay, controls kind of went a bit wonky for a second there. Looks like it's almost dusk anyway. Uh, the inn's this way. Much money? Okay, cool. Let's deposit some more. I know you get achievements for depositing money. Oh, is it just like 5,000 total? Huh. Yeah. We'll, uh, rest a while. Until night. Sir, now we can go on our merry way and say hello to Prince Ferris. Greetings, sir. Hey, you came. Excellent. The noise of the circus will allow us to speak without being overheard. Shall we go inside? Sure. Good, the circus has already started. We should enter without further delay. What have you got for us, Ferris? What do you want for us to do? Gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. The wandering wonder who amazes audiences wherever he goes. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the Great Silvando! Oh, that's impressive. I don't know how you do that. I can't do three. Oh dear. Yeah, I couldn't do that either. Gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. And please, not a word of this to anyone. 
Now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny, tiny, terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. Huh? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable, unthinkable. <sighs> So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also. For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. His face will be hidden from view. Oh, please, please. I beg of you. You must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. You are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen. If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Huh. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow. Talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? No. <laughs> oh, a thousand pardons. I could not hear you over the noise of the crowd. Allow me to ask again. Will you enter the Sun National in my place? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. Rest well. I will see you in the stables, bright and early. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city. Do not be late. Now, I must be on my way. Farewell, friends! <laughs> Savanda, what were you doing? Morning comes.